Hey y'all, welcome back to mom. Ooh. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to Mama Loves Manga. So my setup is a little bit different. I'm actually holding my camera in my hand, and also I think my shelves look a little different um, since the last time I filmed a video. If you follow me on Instagram at Mama Loves Manga, then you have seen a photo that I posted there showing how my shelves look now. It's actually a tiny bit different from what. I even posted in that photo, but it's like, it's it's slightly different. But anyway, today I'm here to do a shelf tour, a bookshelf tour. I figured this would be a great way to start off the new year. So here is my bookshelf in its full glory. These first three squares hold my current clamp titles. Okay, let's move Garnet out of the way. I have Chobit Pollock. I know there is a sequel series called, oh gosh, what is it called? Holic Ray or something like that? So in this third square, I have Rig Veda Volume 1, Tokyo Babylon Book 1. We have Legal Drug, Man of Many Faces Volume 1, Volume 3 of Magic Knight Ray Earth. And then the last clamp title I have is one that I recently purchased, and this is not actually um, like a manga in the traditional sense. It's just Mokuna talking about her love of kimonos and <laughs> I have not fully looked through this yet, but it's just so cute. I've talked about this in a haul video, so I won't go in too much detail, but just freaking adorable. Let's move on to this fourth box. This carries fruits basket. I'm sure a lot of y'all have already seen my fruits basket chat review. I reread this after many years of owning it and it was so fun to reread. Down here I have Oren High School Host Club. This is a series that I will be rereading soon. I'm missing volume 12 and I'm not sure why. I'm pretty sure I let a friend borrow this series a while back and then when I got it back one of the volumes was missing. So lesson learned, don't let people borrow your stuff. Yeah, let's move on to Sailor Moon. I also purchased two volumes of side stories and I have not read them. I started to read this first volume and haven't picked it back up, but I, I will this year. I will read these <laughs> this year. Moving down here, I have the full collection of Dead Man Wonderland, Princess Jellyfish. I love this series so much. I don't know what else to say about it. Here we have Complex Age, which is another one of my absolute favorites. Over here I have Blood Plus, The Prince in His Dark Days by Hiko Yamanaka. Over here I have Millennium Snow. The next I have Pre-Tier by Kaori Naruse and Junichi Sato. Moving on to Earthian. Y'all, this one, <laughs> Ooh, this one was an interesting read. I will say the art style is absolutely freaking stunning. The story on the other hand was a little confusing. Then I have Imperfect Girl. Now this is a series that I loved, but I wasn't going to keep it. I was going to go ahead and unhaul it because it has a plot twist that is hard to forget. So I didn't think this would have much rereadability, but honestly, I just couldn't, I couldn't get rid of it. I love this series so much, so I decided to go ahead and keep it. Over here, I have Puella Magi Madoka Magica, Servant X Service. This is by Karino Takatsu. Now we are coming into my sort of like one shot mangas and we have Claudine by Ryoko Ikeda, Pink by Kyoko Okazaki, Oh My Sweet Alien by Koji Miyata. <sighs> okay and next I have the controversial, well at least controversial for me, <laughs> Jackass by Scarlett Berico. It's a major guilty pleasure of mine. There are a lot of things that I'm not okay with. I'm not okay with the fact that they are in high school. I'm not okay with the teacher-student relationship. There are things I'm not okay with, but y'all, I really liked it. I really liked it. And then finally up here, I have the manga cookbook. 
this is this is a cookbook I have had for many years. I ordered it from jbox.com. This is Biker Girl by Misako Rocks. I recently purchased this for like 50 cents at a shop in Boulder. Um, I read this and did not like it. <laughs> Then I have Dissolving Classroom by Junji Ito. I have not read this yet. Then I have um, Wandering Island by Kenji Tsuruta. Yeah, Kenji Tsuruta. I talked about this in a recent haul video. Here I have Natsume's Book of Friends Volume 1 by Yuki Mirorikawa. This is a really cute series so far. I read this first volume. I think I cried at least once. <laughs> Next I have volume one of The Strange Creatures at Kuro, Kuro, I think it's Kuro, Kuro Yuri. I think that's supposed to be an O, Apartments. I think I talked about this briefly in the video. And one thing I'm really hoping is that these two don't end up um, becoming like love interest because I'm not okay with that because she's right now currently a child but I have a feeling that she's gonna end up growing up very quickly because she's a demon and yeah but this was a really fun first volume volume one of Satan's secretary by Kamotsu Kamonabe this was a really cute first volume as well next I have a manhua this is the antique gift shop by E Un. let's see or I guess in English, Lee Eun, but in Korean, E Eun. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of Holic by Clamp. So I enjoyed this and I definitely plan to keep reading this series. Next I have The Delinquent Housewife, Volume 1 by Nemu Yoku. No, by Nemu Yoko. This is Volume 1. Very, very cute. Here I have Seven Billion Needles, Volume 1 by Nobuaki Tadano. I actually did finish this series, but I um, finished it through ebooks because when I went to go and buy the other volumes, they're so expensive. I want, I'm guessing that several of the volumes are out of print. Next I have Tokyo ESP by Hajime Sagawa. This is a volume I've had sitting on my shelf for a long time. I have read it and I did enjoy it, but I haven't been in a hurry to pick up the other volumes, so I just don't even know if I'm going to bother. Next I have City Volume 1 by Keiji Arawi. This is by the same author of Nichi Jou, which is another slice of life series that I really enjoy. I have not read this yet. I definitely will be reading it this year. Next, I have Satoko and Nada by Yupechika. Yupechika. Next, I have Barefoot Jen, or is it Gen? I'm actually not. I think it's Jen. I think it's Barefoot Jen or Gen. I'm not sure, but this is a cartoon story of Hiroshima. This is volume one and it is by Keiji Nakazawa. Wow. Just okay. This is the worst. This is the worst shelf tour ever. I have volumes one and two of Midnight Secretary by Tomu Omi. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I'm going to continue buying this series in physical form. It's a fun read, but it's not my absolute favorite. So I'm probably going to just continue reading it on my Kindle. Same with Spell of Desire, also by Tomu Omi. Next I have Hina Matsuri Volume 1, Konohana Kitan by Sakuya Amano Hakume and Mikochi Volume 1. This is by Takuto Kashi Kashiki and this was freaking adorable. Next I have Volumes 1 and 2 of Unmagical Girl, Fairy Cube Volumes 1 and 2. I have not read these. Volumes 1 and 2 of Giant Spider and Me, A Post-Apocalyptic Hail. I've mentioned this in a recent haul video. I'm super excited about these. Dragon Half Volume 1 and 2. This is by Rutsuke Mita. And I just realized that I have not been saying the artist of everyone. I apologize, but I'm not going to go back and do that because that's a struggle. New Game Volume 1 and 2 by Shotaro Tokuno. My Lesbian Experience with Loneliness and the sequel, which is My Solo Exchange Diary Volume 1. There is going to be a Volume 2 of this and I'm so excited because I really, 
enjoy this story. It is not for everyone, and I completely understand that. Oop, my battery's about to die. Hold on, guys. Next, I have Fu Tabakun Change, volumes one through three. Himouto Umaru-chan. This is by Sankaku Head. <laughs> Oh, that's such a weird name. Volumes 1 through 4 of Arakawa Under the Bridge by Hikaru Nakamura. This is so good. Volumes 1 through 4 of Girls Last Tour by Tsukumizu. Volumes 1 through 4 of Nichijou. Nichijou. <laughs> by Keiichi Arawi. Volumes 1 through 6 of Season 1 of Chiju Indo Turap. Yeah, She's in the Trap. Flying Witch, Volumes 1 through 6. Murcielago by um, Yoshimura Kana. Yeah, Yoshimura Kana. Everyone's Getting Married by Izumi. Oops. Ah! Izumi Miyazono. This is one of my favorite Jose series. These are all my graphic novels. So I have Saga. 1 through 9, Paper Girls, Volumes 1 through 4, Afar, Papa Cherry, this is by Pixel Pirate Studios, Sleepless, this is by Sarah Vaughn and Layla Del, Luca, Del Duca, Motor Crush, Volume 1 and Volume 2, Pop Gun War Gift, this is by Feral I'm so, Dalrymple. Filming the way I was filming was becoming increasingly difficult and I feel like y'all are just looking at my carpet so we're gonna do this. <laughs> so next I have Witches Volume 1 by all of these people. This was a really, this was, this was good. Wet Moon by Mm, Sophie Campbell, the graphic novel version of Anne of Green Gables. Mega Gogo by um, Wukjin Clark, this beautiful edition of I Hate Fairyland by Scotty Young. I love this. Finally, I have Hatter M. Now, these are all of my husband's graphic novels. Um, we do not like the same things. So he is a huge fan of Penny Arcade, has been for years. I think I bought these for him. But yeah, so there's that. And then he also really likes Lunar Baboon. And I think I bought him these as well. The Prehistory of the Far Side, a 10th anniversary exhibit. He likes this. He recently bought this. This is another Penny Arcade. Um, this is another Penny Arcade title. Then he has this. Which I'm not really sure. The Great Outdoor Fight. You know, I've actually never looked in this to see what this is, what this looks like. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Yeah, so this is his. And then he has Wigu, Volume 1 and Volume 2. One of these, he actually. Um, well, actually, I guess both of them he got signed because I bought both of them <laughs> for the I bought both of these for him because I Don't know. I just kept buying things that he seemed like he liked this one volume two um, Oh, yeah, I bought this when we still lived in Tahlequah, Oklahoma and the artist was like hey I was born in Tahlequah So that was pretty cool and it was for his birthday um, So yeah, that's Oops Okay, Whew. <sighs> so that's that's it. As time goes on, my shelves are definitely going to change. Um, I do have a habit of unhauling whenever I feel like it's necessary, and I really only like to keep things on my shelves that I really love. So it's not gonna look like this forever, but for now, this is what it looks like. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.